Hey guys, my name is Joe. Uh, I'm a rising sophomore at Juniata College studying biochemistry on a pre-med track. Um, and this video is to kind of give you guys some tips and advice on your first year as a pre-med student because it's a very daunting task um, and it can be difficult and challenging for a lot of people. So my number one tip for uh, first year pre-med students is time management and this really goes for any first year student in college but I think it's especially important for pre-med students just because normally you have a lot on your plate you have your classes any extracurriculars but then you also have shadowing and volunteer opportunities that are important to get um, started in your first year just because medical schools like to see consist consistency over all four years so managing your time really helps uh, I would definitely recommend a planner I just started using one my first year of college, I'd never used one before, and I think it really helped. Something else I would recommend is getting to know your professors well. Um, I really ended up getting to know one of my chemistry professors very well, uh, and through that I was able to do research with her, uh, and then I was also able to tutor for one of her courses. And I really think that I was able to have those opportunities because I took the time to go to her office hours and ask her questions and interact in her class. And another thing I would recommend uh, for your first semester especially is to take a lighter course load. I only took like uh, 14 credits my first semester and things went pretty well. Uh, I was happy with how I did. Um, and so my second semester I decided that I felt like I could do more than that. So I took 18 credits uh, and I ended up actually doing better my second semester. But even so, I would still recommend taking a lighter load your first semester just to kind of test the waters, per se. On the flip side of things, if you don't do too great your first semester of college, don't freak out. Um, your first year and first semester doesn't define who you are as a student. That's just one year. I know some students who got C's and B's um, their first year of school. Uh, but ended up just really working hard and getting after their studies and they ended up getting into medical schools So something else I would uh, highly recommend is don't spread yourself too thin meaning that Don't jump after every club that you see that you have the slightest interest in um, I've spoken with some medical school admissions officers and even medical students and they said a lot of times they like to see students engage in a few activities or a few clubs um, and put a lot of time into those clubs rather than being in every club from the knitting club to the outdoors club. Now to prevent yourself from growing, going crazy um, as a pre-med student, it's important to remember to take breaks from studying, uh, take time to have fun with friends, watching a movie, or even just reading a book by yourself, if that's more your kind of thing. And you will have time. I personally have felt that I've always studied a lot, and a lot of people tell me that sometimes I study too much. Uh, but I was still able to find time to set aside to have fun and kind of do what I want and not have to study 24-7. Although I have heard that the first two years of medical school, you have a lot less time for that. But We'll worry about that later. This tip also kind of goes for any uh, college student, um, but take care of yourself, eat, get good sleep, um, and stay active if you can. Um, I would definitely s stress sleep though. I know that I was able to get good sleep, um, and I think that really helped me in my studies and how I did in all my classes. Now I know I've talked about shadowing research, clinical experience, and all that kind of medical stuff, but. It's important to remember, not everything you do has to be medically related. If you love to play the violin, join your school's orchestra if that's something that really interests you. Schools want to hear about things that you're passionate about. They don't want to have a kid who pushes that all aside just to fill all the pre-med requirements, like I said, shadowing, volunteering, all that kind of stuff. You don't have to do that all, all that stuff. That's not a requirement. Schools like to see that. But if you're really passionate about something else, then go do that, and schools will love to hear about it. Something else I would recommend is try not to get caught up in the pre-med rat race. A lot of students can kind of lose sight of everything else and just think, oh, I need to do good, 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 good. I have to do better than everyone else, and I have to be better than everyone else. That's not true. Just be the best that you can. 
and if you're not where you want to be just keep working harder and you'll get there eventually my last tip for you guys is to accept the fact that you will make mistakes you will do poorly on some exams um, but the important thing is to just remember look towards the next exam look how you can improve and learn from your mistakes don't give up if you get a C on your first bio exam or anything like that. Um, in my bio class, I didn't do as well on my first two exams, uh, but on the next two, I did really good and did well in the final and ended up with a good score in the class. Uh, accept the fact that you might not get an A in every course. Even if you were a 4.0 student in high school, uh, which I know a lot of students at my school were, um, I don't know anyone who received a 4.0 either semester um, their freshman year. So I hope you guys like this video. Um, if you have any other questions or anything else you'd like me to touch on uh, about your first year as a pre-med student, uh, let me know in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like uh, and thanks for watching.